special guest Ethan, a young builder from the area, and uh, we want to talk about his really cool rod he built here. Hey Ethan, how are you today? I'm excited to be here, Dan. Right on, right on. Alright man, tell us about this really cool build you have. Are there any uh, special parts you used on it? Um, actually, yeah. Um, I built a battery box for it in the back here. Yeah, cool. Um, tell us about, um, tell us about how this kit started. Is it a kit, or is it a um, it's plethora more of parts? parts. Um, it started out with being a Ford street rod. And I just found parts, and I was like, hey, that would look cool, so I just kind of threw them all together. And awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, tell us about that stack on the back. That looks kind of cool. Where'd that come from? Um, that came from a Peterbilt, actually. Cool. And uh, the rear wheels? Uh, that is from a tow truck. Awesome. It looks like you might have in implied some multimedia uh, materials. Looks like you got some shim stock in the back. What'd you do there? Um, well, um, I got some shim stock from you, actually, and I... Just cut it to so it fit there because I had nothing to put in the back, so yep. I put that there. And Awesome. The motor looks familiar. It looks like a motor I put together one time and tossed to the turf. The garbage did. It seems you rescued it. Yeah. That's out of the um, that's out of an AMT kit. I know that. Uh, tell me about that front grill. What is that? Is that a hood scoop or is that an actual? Um, that's, that's actually the back of the seat. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it fits absolutely perfect. Yeah, I just painted it all gray, and then I put the blue one on the other side. I was like, okay, cool. keep that. Cool. Right on. So this build essentially is, by definition, a rat rod. It looks like you've applied every part that was been uh, parts that have been discarded, no longer needed, and you took all these parts, threw them together to make one really, really cool build. Yes. Awesome. You should be very proud of that. Um, tell me, um, what got you into modeling? Just being around them all the time, just seeing them, never really noticing them. Then one day I actually kind of noticed them and I was like, hey, that looks pretty cool, I should try it out. And I actually got into it. And awesome. Um, you, um, you are a youth that utilizes the internet, so I assume you're into the YouTube and checking out these, oh, this yeah. subject too. What are some of your inspirations, uh, builders on the community that you really look up to and kind of uh, look towards? Um, Dr. Cranky, he's one of them. Oh, uh, yeah, Dr. Cranky is an inspiration oh, yeah. to us all. Oh, yeah. Um, Sean. Oh yeah, Sean's a really good guy too. Mm, and you. Oh, oh, I'm not much of a good guy at all. <laughs> um, what is your future plans for modeling? Where do you want to go from here with this build? What do you want to head to next? Go bigger, better, try to get the gold. Right on. You like to do the model shows, do you? Oh yeah, I love them. Cool. What is your favorite subject to model? Do you like cars, planes, trucks, um, probably women? Cars, um, because you can just really do whatever you want with them. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, customize them to how you like it. Groovy, groovy. Is there anything you'd like to say to any young fellers out there, young peoples out there that want to get into modeling? Um, if you want to do it, do it. Right on. Like, just shoot for the stars yeah, and go for it. Go for it. Um, and if you get frustrated, just set it to the side and start a new one and then come back to that one. That's actually what I did with this. And then I came back to it, and I was just like, hey, I'm going to build it now, and I cool. just put it together. Well, it definitely turned out really sweet. All right, Ethan, thank you very much for coming by the shop, and hopefully we'll see a lot more of your builds in the future. Sweet, thanks. All right, adios.